ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, as you guessed it, to Motec. And you can also see my 911T there in the reflection. Very clever intro there, Tom. However, today I'm doing a very typical YouTuber move and I am replacing the exhaust on my 911T, my 991.2 Carrera T. Now, many of you will remember, I actually did this on my original Carrera T back in the day. So for those that missed it, or those that want to see another exhaust going on another Carrera T, it's time to get the exhaust done. So relatively interesting, it's a slightly different spec to my one before. We're not going to go into that because I've already bored on about it enough on this channel. So what I'm going to go for is, like on my other car, I'm going to replace the box underneath and we're going to get all this stuff off, so don't worry too much. But this box underneath, I know from memory, is actually pretty heavy and pretty restrictive and pretty awful. Doesn't sound amazing. And also, the tips, we've got choices to replace those, but I'm actually going to surprise you all with what I'm going to do with those as well. So without further ado then, I'm at Motec. Most of you will remember Motec from the days which I actually did my Golf GTI back in the day. I think that video's nearly got a million views actually. And these guys are renowned for doing various bits and bobs with BMWs. We're going to go in there, we're going to go around their new unit because they're all new here. So, lots of M cars running around the place. Lovely stuff. Auto ID, chaos. So these guys are renowned for their work on punchy BMWs. So these guys do a lot of OEM plus development on BMWs. They've got a range of parts. They've even got their own branded brakes now with EBC, carbon bits, wheels, spacers. So we're gonna go inside and check all that stuff out in a second as well. A mix and match today, BMW and Porsche, lovely. Let's jump in then. crack on then it's guided tour time and ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel your host with the most it is captain mike motek oh, captain mike. yeah uh, i still remember oh, well, an elephant then. never forgets all right let's go in this I'm is the guided tour yes sir. this is a new unit this is very exciting actually it is for me and you're going for a house renovation so you're probably excited about carpet very excited about carpet mike i know exactly interesting perfect um, good right so this is our new building which we've been in for about three weeks now do you want um, people knowing the code because they now know it really I'll, I'll, I'll put something over that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't know how to blur. We'll have to put. I put a picture of your face over the top of it, or something like that. Emoji or something like that. Yeah, that'll be your face. Um, yeah, I can get in. Actually, no, the. Um, <laughs> cut that out. <laughs> so, where are we now? This is what we call the lounge. Yes. Um, basically, when customers are here, they're here for a few hours. Just give them somewhere nice to sit. Really, um, stuff on display. It's quite uncomfortable. When COVID's done, we can give out, you know, cappuccinos and lattes and that sort of stuff. But Perfect. we try and make it a bit. Of a nice place to be, really. Yeah, it's cool. And there, there was actually a customer here, and he ran off because I came in with my camera. He He's got his M2 too. in there, so he saw he saw me and was like, ugh, and ran off. Yeah. Uh, we've got loads of lovely carbon goodies. Uh, we were talking about this earlier, actually. These are actually really cool. These are for the wheel arches, are they not? Yeah, that's and they're good, yeah. solid carbon. This stuff's not actually that expensive. Like, it, obviously, it all costs money, but it's actually quite cool. The amount stuff. of stuff you can do to BMWs, particularly, is mental. It's quite fun, actually. It's pretty good, isn't it? You need to get Archie down here to do his car properly and like do tasteful things to it rather than black. whatever he does. Oh no, that black one looks okay actually. It looks, it, it looks okay, it looks okay, but he's been uh, guilty of worse crimes. So we've got uh, carbon, oh, this goes on the steering wheel. Chaos, sorry, I'm getting no, excited. No, carry on, mate, carry on, carry on. No, I'm very excited. Uh, and as I was mentioning earlier, these guys have got their own brakes now with EBC, which is Chaos, all branded up Motec. Uh, these look really nice, obviously gold, lovely stuff. Uh, I need to get my... Where have you gone? Okay. I need to get my E93 M3 in it, don't I? Yeah, we need to do some bits in that. But the brakes? It's got a dead battery at the moment. I parked it in a spot. With, uh, no trickle charger. So no, it's got a dead battery. Is but I got a I've got a CTEC CS3! Yay! He knows the drill. Uh, we've got loads of other bits. Anyway, um, this is all available on your Instagram, your website, and all the rest of it. Come on then. Next room, where if you were going to do room. some work, Tom, we would stuck you in there. Yeah, so if I actually had a day job and I wasn't unemployed, I'd be sat here with my laptop um, pretending to do stuff with spreadsheets and various uh, banking systems. However, I'm unemployed, Mike. No good for you then. This is a week though. I'm running yeah. around it in my tracksuit yeah. bottoms with a camera. Exactly. Look. Lovely stuff. Um, Remus. Yeah, exactly. A little Motec W for the women. That. It's upside down. It's all in the detail, Mike. That's what it's all about, mate. 
That's what that is what it's all about. That's what we're here for. Yeah, uh, walk through kitchen offices and stuff. And then this is the latest thing that we're doing is our detailing bay. We have a detailing bay here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so we've all got an M140 in this will be started probably later on today. But like I was sort of saying to you earlier on, we're doing a lot of this as well at the minute. Ceramic coating of tailpipes before they've been fitted. And of course Ooh. wheels as well before they get fitted up as well. Do you know what? Tailpipes are really annoying because they get filthy. They actually need ceramic coating. They do. They go through so many heat cycles all the time and it's just the dirt and the grime. But yeah, putting some G-Technique on there will definitely, definitely help them. But yeah, M140. And the good thing is, this, as you know, we do a lot of stuff with BMW. Yeah. It's also be a handover bay as well. So ah. this one's got three M135i's going out and then Tony from TRL will be here doing the handovers as well. So it'd be nice to see you Carl, Queen and have a happy handover. Tony from TRL. He'll pay as well. He's a celebrity. Yeah, Tony, holler at your boy. Exactly. And then huh. you can see through, see the 911T on the ramp. There she is, up there. Fantastic, lovely stuff. Got wheels and all sorts. It's all going off here and we've got my exhaust through here, have we not? Uh, to the left. No. It's up there on the floor already. Aha. Uh -huh. So, we'll have a little look at the car first. Car then is up in the air, ready to work on. Mike, don't think you're getting away, you're still involved in this video. I did you, away. Yeah, you did, I saw you over there. Uh, <laughs> right, good. Have you got any uh, in clever words to say about what's going on here? Uh, Remus again? Remus again, yep. Are you gonna put like a link for the previous video? Yeah, we can, we, we can put the link to the previous video if you want, and we can also put Remus exhaust uh, for the Golf GTI video as well. Try and nudge that over a million, that's done very well. Yeah, that's done very well. Done very well. Um, yeah, so we're back in for the same as what you had before. Yep. Um, you know, it's is it exactly the same as what I put on the, the car before? 100%. So this is the sports exhaust on the uh, 990T. Yep. So what we'll do is, the good thing is we can retain your stock tips. Yes. So these get removed, put back in place. You can run a remus if you want, but we're keeping it very factory. And it's fundamentally, it's how it opens and bypasses the valve. So as you'll know before, when the valve is closed, it's fairly quiet. But you know, when you put it into sport, Right. Yes, yeah. opens a valve up, and you just get a bit more over on burbles, a bit more of an echo from it. They're just a bit too quiet from standard. Yeah, they are a bit. The 991.2 wasn't famed for sounding that great. So, um, yeah, so as before then, I will be keeping stock tips. I know a lot of you told me off for that, but I'm a little bit weird. I like OEM, so that's, that's a really clever design, to be fair, because literally the tips just go onto the new system, which yeah. is over there in a box somewhere, which we'll get out in a second. Um, so, yeah, will the exhaust button work? Yep. Or it'll factory, yeah. So yet again in sport, or you've got the overboost button as well, haven't you? It'll open the valve up. Yeah, yeah. You got sport mode, which will just open everything up yep. on the car. So it'll all work as OEM yeah, as you before. Yeah, original valve. So basically, it has a valve in place. Yep. And which is obviously done on the vacuum, so it'll just plug straight in and work exactly how it's done before. That's amazing. No silly Bluetooth buttons or any of that jazz, because no. I absolutely hate all that nonsense. No, nothing extra. Uh, it'll look factory. Well, nobody will know the difference. Nobody will know the difference other than me. It's giving it a little bit of beans. It'll sound nice. And I remember from the one before as well. It wasn't actually horrendous on startup. It wasn't going to annoy my neighbours. It's or a real something. usable system. Yeah. yeah, it's not a lot smaller. Than this it is designed just to give you that percentage more over standard, without spending huge amounts of money removing cats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. I don't want to do any of that jazz. Right. And this then is steel, and then the new system is that steel as well. What's it made? Stainless steel. Stainless steel, but it's yeah. a lot lighter. It's a few kilos lighter. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, it's Remus, so it is lighter, and obviously construction inside is going to be slightly lighter as well. Yeah, have a lot less baffling, more straight through. Obviously, when the valves are open. Freer flowing, which is good for turbo cars, I've heard. Yeah. A little bit of power release, but you know, it's only gonna be a few brake, five brake, 10 brake it maybe. It really needs a bit of sound on this one for uh, YouTube Square. YouTube Square, yes, <laughs> you know it. A little factoid for some of you, Remus's sister company, Sebring, or Sebring, they actually make the OEM tailpipes for Porsche and a load of other OEMs as well. Fact of the day, there we go. More facts. More facts. More facts. I knew that one, you didn't tell me that. Really? Yeah, I knew that one. You just uh, Wikipedia it. No, not even. It's all. It's all in here. Nick, you're on camera. Please do not say f or. B I've had to beep that. <laughs> We've got a beeping machine. It's very well used. Um, so whilst Nick uh, takes the standard system off, we've got, as if by magic, your tailpipes. Oh, we've got our tailpipes here as well. Yeah, exactly. Chaos. Yeah. Feel free. They need to be ceramic coated. They do need ceramic coating. Like, Everyone needs ceramic coating on their exhaust tips. Lovely. So they're they're there, and they're going to stay actually as they are. Which is absolutely fine by me. And we've got the new Remus system here. It looks a little bit more compact, but we're going to compare them in a second. Yeah, so it'll actually be more like that when it's fit to the car, so your tailpipe's coming out. Yep. Picks up on the original valve, like we sort of said before, so it opens and closes. Yep. Just through the factory, for the factory buttons, but yeah, we'll pull the original one out in a minute next to it. Might be a lot of size difference, but it's how it's built inside. No, size doesn't matter, Mike, so it's fine. Good. That actually feels a lot more uh, lightweight as well. Me tugging it around there. Are you nervous? 
No, I'm a no, bit no, of a baboon, I break stuff. No, it's only your car. <laughs> <laughs> and, and unlike a lot of videos uh, that I've done before, I've been guilty of this before, we're actually going to hear this being put on the car as well, so that's all quite exciting. Because usually I drag it out into two videos. Oh, that's the name of the game. You say, my exhaust is here, and then you pose with it with your mouth open, looking like you're holding a big fish. And then your second video is... Uh, Drive around YouTube Square. Listen, yeah, YouTube Square. You like YouTube Square? I do, yeah. Everyone likes YouTube Square, <laughs> apart from the residents. <laughs> they, no. they, they, they don't like YouTube Square anymore because it's become YouTube Square. So that's very exciting. It's a nice watch, though. It's very nice, isn't it? Centurion, Mike. It unlocks my car. It this locks car. it, yeah. And it starts up. When this is in the car, the car starts up, so I don't need to carry my key around with me. So it actually unlocks, locks, and my car starts when it's in. It's instead of the keyless go. You show us in a minute. Uh, we can do, but we're here to talk about these exhausts today, Mike. I'm just, just you've, you brought it up, so I thought I'd put it in the video. The Centurion. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So then I've just interrupted Nick very quickly to show you the differences between the standard system and the new system. So we've got standard system on the right there, and we've got the new system on the left there. I can vouch that it's ever so slightly lighter than that. There's not a huge amount in it, I must say. I think the only difference is it's going to be oral. A-U-R-A-L, before anyone gets uh, grimy. And a bit more free-flowing as well uh, in this one. So um, yeah, it's time to put it on. Sorry, mate. You can, you can continue now, apologies. Here we go then, ladies and gents. Standard system on the floor. New system in. Captain Mike. Woo! All right, we'll get her outside. Then we'll turn the valves on and we'll listen to her properly. Already sounds a hell of a lot better. Oh, I love this car. So Captain Mike has actually just gone on a joyride. <laughs> this wasn't part of it. Hopefully he's enjoying himself. Do you think he's enjoyed himself? You look fairly content, this is good news. Rabbit! <laughs> Anti-social, we like that. Is, is that? This is valve closed. Valve closed, ladies and gentlemen. Valve shut there. And valve's open. Lovely stuff. I'm very happy with that. It's OEM Plus. We like that. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Very happy with that. <laughs> YouTube Square. You're obsessed with YouTube Square. Yeah, that's good. You can see the difference now when the valve is open and closed. Yeah, it's decent. We like that. I'm very, very happy. Very happy. Very exciting. Right then, on that noisy note, thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe, blah, 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 and check out Motec as well. For your BMW needs, or your exhaust needs, or spacers, or springs, whatever it is, hit their website and go and check it out. They've got loads and loads of bits, and if you don't see it, ask. See you later, guys.